TMZ posted an article on October 25th of 2018 titled Loving Hip Hop Star Amara La Negra 100% Behind Spice Going White Face. Here's what they wrote. Love and Hip Hop Miami star Mara La Negra is totally behind Spice's decision to go whiteface for her album because she believes Spice had a noble purpose and executed it brilliantly. Amara tells TMZ, The haters who have lashed out at Spice are all wet for attacking Spice or a photo that was designed to mock those who believe light-skinned African Americans, <laughs> light-skinned African American women are more beautiful than their dark-skinned counterparts. Listen, y'all. Let me re let me reread that part, okay? Amara tells TMZ, the haters who have lashed out at Spice are all wet for attacking Spice over a photo that was designed to mock those who believe light-skinned African-American women are more beautiful than their dark-skinned counterparts. Remember, that's what colorism is about. Those light-skinned women are not more beautiful than us. We're more beautiful than them. Say that the dark-skinned ones are more beautiful, you know, like the darker, the berry, the sweeter, the juice. As long as you put dark skinned women on the beauty standard above where the light skinned women are, then there's not an issue. Don't you dare say that a lighter skinned woman is more beautiful than a darker skinned woman, because if you do, then you're a colorist. So your preference for a lighter skinned woman is threatening to a darker skinned woman. Disgusting. As we reported, the imagery goes hand in hand with Spice's track, Black Hypocrisy, on her mixtape that includes the lyrics, quote, Because I was told I would reach further if the color of my skin was lighter, and I was made to feel inferior because society said brown girls prettier. And that right there is why Amara's in Spice's corner, because Amara herself has clashed with others trying to define her beauty. You'll remember Loving Hip Hop Miami cast member Young Hollywood was on the receiving end of death threats after suggesting Amara get a quote, new look. Yes, that Hispanic dude that she was willing to fight with Veronica Vega over working with, but then she goes around with her contradictive ass and goes try to work with the same guy and slept at his house yeah people online stupid black idiots were running around threatening this hispanic dude because he said that he wanted her to be a little more elegant a little more beyonce as opposed to macy gray and for the record macy gray is not dark skin in short amara says she gets it and supports spice because sometimes you gotta shake people to call attention to your cause mission accomplished in other words, I told y'all from the from the freaking beginning, from the first video I made about it, I told you guys that she did not really bleach her skin, okay? But anyways, here's what Amara had to say on her Instagram account earlier, a few hours ago. I surely did say it, and I'll say it again. I support at Spice Official 100% because I understand what she meant to do and what she is doing. Hashtag black hypocrisy. Nobody wants to talk about it, but it's the truth and it's the world we live in. Sometimes you have to take extreme measures like her controversial quote skin lightning picture for people to pay attention. I don't approve nor support skin lightning. I support the message she is <laughs> she's putting out about self love and embracing and loving the skin that you're in loving your melanin. Well, Amara, before any black women get triggered in my comment section, this is the point where you're going to probably need to leave if you're easily triggered. If you're the type of black woman that likes to cry because somebody has an opinion that's different than yours and you're a big baby and you don't know how to interact with others, which a lot of black women have an extreme issue with your stinking attitudes, you might want to leave this video now because I'm about to go in, okay? First of all, how can Amara Lenegra talk about black hypocrisy? When she's supposed to be Miss Black Love and Self Love, but her Afro wig is fake, which I thought it was real. When I first started defending Amara La Negra on Love and Hip Hop Miami season one and Young Hollywood was talking about how he wanted her to change her looks, I was completely team Amara. I thought that this fool was trying to make her change her natural hair. I thought that that was her real hair, y'all. I said, that lady has some beautiful hair. Come to find out that shit is fake. It's pieces, a wig, whatever the hell. It's some fake shit. It's not real. It's not her real natural hair. And I was freaking fooled. And I felt robbed when I found that out. I was like, wait a second. That's not her real hair. So what, the, what is she complaining about? Second of all, she wanted to fight with Veronica Vega because she said Veronica Vega was a fake friend for wanting to work with young Hollywood after he said what he said to her. But then Amara goes and turns around and, and works with the same guy and even spends a night at his house. 
slept on the floor to work with him. Please explain to me how that makes any sense. Who is really fake and who's real? When somebody tries to fight with somebody who they say is their friend and breaks off the friendship because the person wanted to work with someone that they go and turn around and try to work with anyway. It doesn't make any sense. Black women still co-sign Omara's bullshit. Like how the hell can you co-sign that BS? Did y'all watch the show? Did you really actually agree with that foolishness? Veronica, you can't work with him. I'm not your friend because you want to work with him. But you know what? Psh, my opportunistic ass sure as hell will work with him. Listen, man. Oh, my freaking God. Look, man. Amara loves some white men. So does Spice. The only thing y'all, <laughs> only thing y'all, y'all are trying to do is produce the same children that y'all are hating on the same girls that y'all look at and be like huh they just say she's cute because she light skin or huh the darker skin girl looks better than her. y'all want to go and make the same babies it reminds me of the whole princess and the frog situation i never made a video about it but two the first two things that i noticed because if anybody doesn't know there's a movie i think it was wreck it ralph to the movie or something like that some sort of wreck it ralph movie and they had princess tiana in the movie She's a cartoon character. She was the first black Disney princess. And basically, she's from The Princess and the Frog from like 2008, 2009. I never watched the movie, but I definitely heard about it. When they made her a princess about 10 years ago, her prince was a non-black man. Black women made no big deal out of it between now and then because black women are full of shit in America. So black women didn't have any problem with this non-black male being her love interest because they're well. Deep down inside, that's what black women want because black women hate black men any fucking way. So black women were cool with it, right? And basically nowadays, about 10 years or so later, they made a lighter skinned version, a biracial looking version of Tiana. And they were going to put her in the Wreck-It Ralph movie. Her hair looked different. Her hair was that curly mixed girl here. She had that hashtag mixed girl magic. <laughs> and Tiana, the first Tiana... The first depiction of her was a brown skin girl. Now, the woman that the character was made from, I forget what the woman's real name is because she was made after a real person. And that woman is a light skinned black woman for the record or mixed woman, whatever the hell she is. All I know is she's fair skinned. She's a red bone. So the fact that they made the princess so damn dark in the first place is kind of odd. But then again, all Negroes look the same according to non-blacks, whether you're light-skinned or dark-skinned, remember? But anyways, <laughs> and even half of Negroes are lumped up in the box with you. So boom, right? This is how it went down. Around 2008, 2009, the movie came out. Dark-skinned black princess had a non-black prince in the movie. Black women didn't give a sh Well, black women loved it and supported it because that's what they really wanted their daughter to marry. So then their baby can have that good hair. First thing that I noticed was now in 2018 when this light skin mixed looking tiana was shown in the previous for wreck it ralph i was like wait a second damn it isn't that what the baby of tiana and that dude would look like anyway that was the first thing i thought to myself the second thing i thought to myself is whoa oh shit peep this <laughs> the old tiana looked like kelly rolling the new <laughs> the new tiana looks like beyonce and that's the black woman's queen to the point where Michelle Obama's thinking ass said that if she could be anybody like some other celebrity other than herself, she would be Beyonce. But here's the kicker. And then this is going to go a little bit deeper. But Beyonce said to Latina magazine that if she could, she would be a goddamn Latina. She would have been born a Latina. I still never made that video where I was going to read to you guys the interview and give my opinion on it. But you believe that shit? Beyonce said if she could, she would be uh, Beyonce Lopez. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, y'all. And then we had the the, the, the negress on uh, Dr. Phil, the little 16-year-old heifer, walking around, a little dark, dark skin chick, talking about some, uh, basically, she's KKK-minded. She called up the KKK hotline, and, you know, she said that the KKK thinks smart and that black people were violent and all this other stuff. Did, did y'all hear about that, that little heifer on Dr. Phil? The black cash me outside. <laughs> no, nah, I shouldn't say that. Danielle Brigoli's not as bad as this girl. That girl, that, that, bl that little black chick is a danger to black people. She's a devil. She's going to sit up there 
saying something like that, like the KKK are smart people, like really? It, it, really? Heifer, really? Her mother's a swirler, by the way. Her mother told her, she was like, yeah, your white stepdaddy, who's deceased now, your white stepdaddy is your, is your biological father, told her and her brother that bullshit. Once again, black women lying on a man and saying that he's the father of a child or children that he's not. Once again, that shit. But anyways, y'all, some of y'all will listen, some of y'all won't. You know, uh, when mandatory DNA tests come about and then we find out who people's real fathers is, then you're going <laughs> to a lot of black chicks are going to be wearing egg on their face. But black men still get blamed for it. But this is the thing, though, guys. And, and, and there's a lot of black men who are out, out here taking care of babies that are some white dude, some uh, Spanish dude, some Asian dude. And then black black chicks give birth to the baby. The baby look obviously mixed. They're like, well, you know, genetics are funny. Anyways, it, sweet Lord. And that, and that black girl on Dr. Phil, you could tell that she wasn't mixed. Genetics are funny. This is the thing, though, guys. Amara Negra has no place talking about, quote unquote, black hypocrisy because she's a black hypocrite. So she's full of shit. You know, Amara, 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 have a stop. Now, don't get it twisted. I love me some Amara because she's a really beautiful chick. Really nice to look at. You know, she's fine as hell. So, for that one reason, you know, I got to at least be somewhat team Amara because I'm not trying to, you know, go out here and participate in the war on pretty or anything. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, participating in committing pretty side. You know, we need to keep pretty alive and pretty strong. Keep pretty strong, baby, strong. You know, pretty is important. The world is built by pretty. You know, it's built off pretty alone. You know, when the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. What God actually said was, let there be light skinned women. And then the world just brightened up. And, and that's just that's just how everything came into existence. All right, y'all. See, some of y'all, see, see, some black heifer is going to get mad that I said that. Is going to act like she doesn't know that I'm obviously just joking. And be like, see, see me, you're a colorist. Remember, people, colorism is when your preference is, is not dark-skinned black women. That's the definition of colorism, okay? But anyways, you guys, just because I'm tired of the foolishness doesn't mean that you are. You might be pro-stupidity. You might be pro uh, uh, as obsidian obsidian mumia ali i think his name is from uh, obsidian radio would say black female fuckery okay you guys may be cool with it i'm not I I i'm tired of black women lying okay y'all have your preferences and you can brag about how much you love you the white man and all this other stuff and how much you know and how you're gonna do what you want to do get with who you want to get and play how you want to play the adams family da -da -da -da. But then when somebody else wants what they want and likes what they like, then you have an issue with it because black women are control freaks and they think that they can tell people what they're allowed to like. And you know what, heifers? I'm going to like my red bones all that I want. And it's not colorism. It's a preference. Just like when you pop up with your, pop up with your white husbands and white and non-black boyfriends and y'all brag about it. Y'all going and dating men in Rome and making reality TV shows about it and throwing black men under the bus and talking about, oh, there are no good black men. They're either dead, gay or in jail and other, and other shit that, that, that your mouth farting heifers, please. Everybody has their preferences. When you're not somebody's preference, you want to cry about fake colorism. The truth of the matter is. It's just people not picking you. You, you, you. The black woman at this point, the dark skinned black woman that's doing this foolishness, the ones that are doing this, what you are is the kid that's picked last to play kickball on, on the schoolyard saying, I want a trophy for showing up. Okay? Get in where you fit in. There's guys who are attracted to you. It's just that you want to become the standard of beauty, but it's not going to happen. It's just not. So get over it. Why not worry about being the best mothers? How do you brag about being the most educated when your children are the least? Black women's priorities are just screwed up collectively in America. It's really, really shameful. And you have these chicks like an Amara who's Dominican and identifies as a black Latina. And you have a Spice who's a Jamaican coming to the States, coming over here with this colorism foolishness. And you stupid Negroes are falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Black people have racism to freaking worry about. Don't be fooled by the foolishness and get caught up in this and let colorism become the new what about black on black crime. And then when you Negroes try to say, look, this white person is clearly being racist. You know how these white people keep getting caught on tape doing crazy shit like calling the police for no good reason? 
well, you black people are colorists because you don't even like dark skinned blacks. That's going to be the new what about black and black crime. But you Negroes aren't smart enough to see the freaking fix when it's right in front of your face. Me Magazine and YouTube, Twitter and Facebook, Me Magazine blog and Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify, share this video on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with a string in the middle, and telepathically. And remember, y'all, if you're a black woman or some gay dude or some black simp or whatever, some simpleton or something, and you're triggered by something that I said and you want to unsubscribe unsubscribe from me or you want to threaten to unsubscribe from me, please do it. Get the fuck off my channel. Don't tell me you're going to leave the channel. Just go. Don't leave a comment. Just leave. Bounce. Arriva Dirce, as Tupac said in that one song. What song was that? Was it Toss It Up? Yeah, that's my shit. I'm about to go listen to that. I got one more video to make about Marvel the Negro's new hairdo, and I'm going to go listen to Toss It Up by, is it? It's, it's Tupac and Jodeci. That's my ish from that Machiavelli album. That beat is stupid. Ooh. Ooh. That's my joint. Anyways, y'all, this is the thing, man. <laughs> that's my joint. I'm sorry. I love that song. Tupac Lips. Listen. If you want to leave my channel, that's fine. I completely support you leaving my channel. But please don't tell me that you're leaving because I don't give a shit. Because most of you that say that, I don't even know your screen names. Either I don't remember your screen, screen name or I never saw it before. So it doesn't even matter. You're not going to be missed. Even if you're somebody I like in the comment section, if you want to leave, that's perfectly fine. But just leave. Don't tell me you're going to leave. Just get the fuck. Just, just go. Go. When I unsubscribe from people and I don't go back to the channels, I don't tell them that I'm leaving. I left Vlad TV's channel for years, like three or four years. I didn't tell anybody, hey, y'all, I'm not coming back and leaving. And I don't listen. I left. I gracefully bowed out. I didn't like to see what I was seeing there. He was promoting this gay agenda stuff. I felt like there was some anti-black bullshit that was going on up in there. I didn't like what I was seeing. I didn't like what I was smelling. I was smelling what the rock was cooking and it was stinking. So I said, Vlad, bye bye to myself I said it in my mind and I bounced and I left and that was just it there's no need for me to tell Vlad hey Vlad I'm leaving your channel and here's why just leave he wouldn't have known who I was anyway even though I, my comments were super popular at the time but the point is this though the point is this I gotta go y'all man but this colorism thing is a bunch of crap it's a replacement for racism so then that way white people can have the colorism card in their hand and also coons, dark skinned black females who are basically trying to get on white people's side because they love some white men and, and they hate black men. This is their way of getting out of quote unquote blackville, quote unquote hashtag blackistan. That's their way of saying F you to the black people and hopping on the white side is by saying, well, you know what? Forget racism, y'all. You know, we really need to be talking about is black women who are dark skinned not being the standard of beauty. That's what we need to be focused on. Who cares about that child hanging from their neck on a rope? I didn't get called beautiful today by everybody in this room. You got to be freaking kidding me. All right, y'all. Meat Magazine. I mean, it's one thing that these, these heifers were like, look, I lost a job because of my dark skin. They, they wouldn't hire me because they said I was too dark. And I don't mean a modeling job. I mean something other than your appearance. I mean a normal job. Okay? Because depending on what they were looking for, they might have needed somebody of a certain complexion. Let's say, for example, you were modeling makeup. Just for example. You know, that's why you have to get into the details. The devil's in the details, which black women don't like to get into. Black women don't like to unwrap things. They just like to use catchphrases. They like they like to use very few words with no power to them, no intelligence behind it. Just say a couple things and then you're just supposed to go along with them. You're just supposed to agree blindly with black women. That's the only way you will agree with them, because if you have. If you have any sort of common sense and you actually unpack what the so-called sisters are saying, you'll realize that the, a lot of them are full of crap, including Amara and Spice. The things that you're saying are not nice. So what do you guys think about Spice, who's now sought, allegedly bleaching her skin and lightening up? Somebody must have told her, lighten up, have to lighten up, and she actually did it. I Nicholas, Me Magazine, aka Me Magadaddy. Me Magazine on Twitter, YouTube, 
and Facebook, Me Magazine, blog, and Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify, share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. That way, everybody named Mama Two knows that Spice is full of poop. Amara's full of poop. Now, don't get it twisted. Amara's fine as hell. And I'm still going to bump her music. And I'm still going to go to her Instagram with my lotion and mind my business. But at the end of the day, though, a lot of stuff that Amara's saying is, is, is full of crap. But I, I support sis due to the simple fact she's fine as hell. Oh, that's right. She's dark skinned. So I can't think she's fine. That's what the sisters would say. Me, you, you don't think Amara's fine because she's dark skinned. I thought we all collectively agreed that Amara is a beautiful woman. And, and look at her. She has. <laughs> she has black woman features. But yet the black women who lie about colorism and the mythology of colorism are running around and saying what? You know what these black broads are saying on social media and on these, these YouTube videos? They're like, well, she looks like a white woman who was painted black. Really? When you look at Amara La Negra, this fucking goddess, what you see is a white woman painted black with, with dark brown paint. That's what you see. You're a liar and a fraud. Another thing that they're saying is, well, you see, you, you black men are attracted to Amara because she got a big butt and big boobs. That's what it is. It's because she's stacked. Heifers, please. Y'all need to stop. Like, y'all... <laughs> Y'all got excuses for everything. The truth of the matter is that men are attracted to what they're attracted to. Women are attracted to what they're attracted to. I'm talking about physical attraction. Some things we all need to avoid. But Amara, Amara La Negra is just freaking beautiful physically. I mean, there's some things about her I, I, that don't sit well with me, like the way she treated Veronica Vega, my favorite from Love and Hip Hop Miami season one. Shout out to my boo. And... You know, I don't like the way she treated her. I don't like the fact that she stands behind this fake colorism thing. And I think she's full of shit as far as that's concerned. And I think she was a fake, a fake friend to Veronica. But and, and the swirling thing, I, I can't get behind swirling at all. I, I'm not team swirl, which is funny because I do. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, I'll talk about that in another video. But the point is, this though, um, <laughs> at the end of the day, y'all, I'm halfway team Amara. I'm cool with Spice, you know, as far as her music. She doesn't make bad music, but both of these chicks are full of it. Me Magazine. If you're going to leave, leave my channel. Don't tell me you're leaving. Bye. This is not like y'all can explain your position as well. It's not like you're well-spoken. It's not like as if you're good at articulating yourselves. So I expect you to act like big babies and cry and say, you know what? I'm leaving because I disagree with you, you know, because you can't respectfully disagree with black women because so many of you are just so disrespectful in the first place. All right. Me magazine.